Mary Me, and welcome to my channel. Welcome to your February 2017 love scopes with me. I'm really grateful and happy to have you here, Libras. I'm very excited to do these readings. I have two new decks that I'm using um, the Amy Brown Fairy Wisdom deck. It's pretty new to me. I've been using it on a personal level a little bit since I got well, quite a bit since I got it. And I've done um, some readings here on YouTube with it. I really love it, adore it. And then my brand new chakra oracle deck that I just got today that I've been using in these readings and I love it. So I'm using those. I'm also using the Osha Zen Tarot and the Color Oracle. And uh, I think it's a pretty good combination. I'd really love to hear what you think. If you have any feedback, boo or yay or uh, comments, please leave them. All right, so I'm going to do this by doing two mini readings. I'm going to do one for those of you who are single, and then I'm going to do another for those of you who are in partnership. I'm going to start with single ones in just a moment, but before I do that, just a couple more things I wanted to add in there. Um, if you are interested in a personal reading, there is a link down below in the description that will take you to my website, and you can book one with me through that. Um, so, oh, the other thing is just, I, I'm very excited that I just started um, my Etsy store. So I wanted to invite all of you over there to check out what I'm selling. The link for that is down below as well. I appreciate it if you stop by and take a look. All right, getting close. Cards are almost shuffled. I'm going to start with the single deep breaths. Okay, so um, I'm going to read the fairy card to you right out of the booklet. Before I do that, I've been um, reading, telling you what I see. Um, then I'll read the fairy card, and then if there's additional messages that come through, I'll let you know about it. You have when fairies go bad. I'll show you. <laughs> it's cute. I like it. I'm not familiar with this card yet. Um. You have some energies here that indicate you're feeling kind of um, a lot of you. Um, like you're stuck between a rock and a hard place, like you don't know what to do, like you, you feel like there's choices, you're aware of that, but you don't know which one to pick. Um, for some of you, this may be that you're dating a couple people, different people, and you don't know who you want to be with, you, it's like time for you to pick one and you don't know. Um, it may be um, choices also about getting in a relationship with somebody or staying single. Um, and this may just be your own stuff, your own mental stuff um, around love and responsibilities and things that would keep you from being in a partnership. All right, but whatever it is, um, there's some other cards on the table that are telling you that it's your perception. Everything is, it's your perception. Like, there's all different kinds of ways to look at things. Whatever you're feeling, well, it's telling you to learn to scan your body. There's something going on there. Um, so there's different ways to do that. The easiest way I can think of that I, I like um, is kind of, it's, Put yourself in a relaxed state and just move your attention. Start with your feet or start with your head and just put all your attention into that part of your body and just notice whatever's there. Um, it may be beneficial for some of you to keep a notepad and write these things down, but just notice what's there, what you feel, and then move on to the next part of your body. And just go all the way down through your body. So that may be something that's really helpful for you to practice during the month of February. Um, some of you may have some health stuff going on there. Some of you uh, may find some answers related to love and relationships by doing this. All right, so the other thing it's saying is it's your perception. 
All right, so if you are too much in the brain, trying to figure things out mentally, um, stop it. <laughs> stop. Just stop. It's time to check in with your body. Pay attention to the body. Have body awareness. It's time to pay attention to your emotions. It's time to pay attention to spirit. It's time to just be. It's time to meditate. Um, we can get some more clarity about this when we go into the fairies card, I feel. Um, that's what's coming up right now. This card, the perception card, is a heart chakra card. Yeah. <clears throat> um, the color green and the color gray will help you to raise your vibration to the frequency you were trying to raise it to this month. So you may wish to wear more gray, wear, wear more green, bring them into your home or your room in, um, in some way, or just work with them in some way. If you paint, paint with those colors maybe, something like that. Um, just their vibrational match to the frequency you're trying to meet this month. Alright, so it, it's a heart chakra card, which means that um, it's a good idea to do some heart clearing, some heart chakra clearing, and strengthening of the heart chakra. There's all kinds of meditations out there you may wish to partake in. There's all kinds of exercises, breathing in and out of the heart, that kind of thing. You're gonna, if you do this, you're gonna adjust your relationship to love and love's relationship to you, and I think you will find you will. Feel better and you will have better results um, from doing that. So I want to dive into the fairy card. Before I'm going to look at this um, perception card just a little bit deeper, let's see. Some questions you can ask yourself. What in my life needs tending? How good will I allow myself to feel? Alright, so um, keywords and ideas for this. Beauty, open-heartedness, appreciation. Transformation in the heart, change in perception, the unknown, promise of a richer experience. <clears throat> All right, and then the inspiration. Often our journeys bring us full circle, leaving us to wonder why things happen. Emerald Stone teaches us to follow through on whatever is before us. Going back is not an option. So I do recognize that some of you have, are feeling um, nostalgic or something about the past. Maybe it's a recent breakup or maybe it's like just love in general throughout your past. Um, but this card is suggesting um, heart healing, heart chakra healing, heart center healing, and changing perception um, and shifting focus to focus on the present and going forward rather than trying to go back to things that we may miss um, or to try to figure out how what went wrong and like how we how to fix something all right um you know what we could have done differently and that kind of thing um, number 10 I'm in the wrong booklet <laughs> Oh no, I wanted to, that's right, let's see, where is it? Right, you're offered this month um, the ability to see something differently, think, see things differently, and the chance um, to embrace transformation. There is an ability to attract wealth here if you have an open heart. So this would be money, um, but because I'm doing a love reading, I feel like it's more apt to be the kind of wealth, like abundance that you're looking for in your life related to love. So this may be, you know, related to your children or, you know, family, some sort of platonic love, friendships, or maybe, you know, the relationships that you're trying to attract or somebody that you're casually dating, having that be a relationship, um, changing your perspective. All right, so let's see what's here with number 10. Good fairies go bad. <clears throat> the key word here is surrender. Again, the meditation thing and getting out of the mind, I feel that's really important with this gray card coming up. Probably this card as well and schizophrenia card from the Osha Zen. Um, 
All right, so let's see what it says. Surrender. This is the key word for this card. When everything is going wrong and life is not making any sense, surrender. Hereon lies the message of Spirit's love. Just give it all up to the one. Ask for the perfect solution and relax and expect it to happen. Remember that Spirit's timing is perfect. Allow the universal God energy to work around you and through all avenues to bring about solution. God energy, um, oh, sorry, just reading the previous line. Be open to the magical workings of spirit in your life. No fairy is truly bad, and that goes for humans also. Recognize your divine self. Remember to allow any guilt, shame, anger, or fear of the present or past to drop away from you so that you walk free. There is no room in your life for guilt, shame, anger, or fear. You are always divinely forgiven and must forgive yourself in order to forgive others and to have peace. Look inside. What are you holding on to? Bless and release anything and everything that is not for your highest good. Thank it for the job it has done in your life and the lessons it has brought you. Now release. Feel the pure crystalline light of divine love as it washes over your body. It releases from your aura all that is not of your highest good. It, pe it penetrates your cells with the light of healing and love. It surrounds your body with a protective barrier to assure that you are fully protected. It opens you to love and understanding. Everyone has a second chance, whether on this plane or another. You can choose to be forgiving, um, to be forgiven and to forgive. You can choose to walk in divine grace. God is not a punisher. It is we humans who punish ourselves. When we release this habit of punishing ourselves, we free up so much energy for constructive use. Move into this energy and use it from this day forward for the highest good of all. Wave a white flag today. All right. Um, I'm not getting any additional messages for you, so I'm gonna conclude this reading. I hope it was helpful, and I hope you'll come back and see me soon. I'm gonna move on to the Libras that are in relationship now. So have a happy February, happy Valentine's Day, very part with married again. All right, let's see what's in the cards for those of you Librarians, <laughs> Libras that are in relationship for February. Oh, I love these cards. I don't know if I showed you the back or not, but I oh, just love, them. love that back. All right. acceptance. So, <laughs> um, I usually get more cards on the table first before I start talking, but it's coming up. For some of you, there is a, a need to have acceptance about something related to your partner that something's not going to change, something about the way they are, maybe it's a habit of theirs that you hate, um, acceptance of what is, or maybe it was a situation. Let's see what else comes up. And okay. So this can also be, um, this is a root chakra color card. Acceptance, red. So this can also be kind of stability issues. Um, this can be <clears throat> monetary issues. You know, maybe you're having trouble with your relationship because you're having trouble with your life, basic needs. Maybe you're having to work all the time or your partner is or something to get out of debt or to save money um, for something you both want. And there's just kind of a need to have acceptance. Maybe somebody's got to work on Valentine's Day and you're really upset about that. But, you know, like, just find another day to celebrate. Pick another day that you both have off and have Valentine's then, or, you know, a half day or something. Work around it. There's connecting to the divine. Your color card is pearl. Um, bring the color red and the color pearl into your life during this month um, will help assist you in raising your vibration to the frequency you are trying to raise it to. All right, pearl 
Um, this message is connect to the divine. All right. So this is a card of deep spirituality um, and spirit, your, your own divinity. So um, meditation is great and very helpful for this, but it might be, you know, for some people it might be going to um, a beautiful location out in nature and spending some time there and taking that in. It's going to be different things for different people. But um, let's see. Your fairy card, I'm going to read to you right out of the booklet, but I'm going to show it to you first. We've got ivy on the table. And we've got Beyond Illusion. I feel like for some of you, you need to be able to believe things can happen um, in order for them to happen. And then you need to take steps beyond just daydreaming about it. So if, if you want to get married, the two of you want to get married, but you don't have the funds, for example. You have to believe that it's possible for you to have the kind of wedding you want, and then you have to take steps um, to achieve that, setting up an account or talking to your family, whatever those steps are. Um, <clears throat> and that's just an example, but there's all kinds of things here. Um, I do sense for some of you this is about manifesting something, um, but I want to read the fairy card to get a little more insight here. Um, for some of you, something really wonderful and surprising is going to happen this month. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be beyond what you've imagined. It's surprising you, and it makes you feel really abundant and I don't know the word, um, faithful, it makes you feel like, whoa, um, spirit is looking out for me, wow, there is some, like, magical force out there in the universe, okay, that's not all of you, but for some of you, that is going to happen, um, alright, so let's see, what is coming up with Ivy, Ivy is 45, card 45, Finance. <laughs> okay, so the keyword here is finance. Fairies have no need for finances. They just trust that they will be provided for, and so they are. Trust has a lot to do with the finances of humans also. Asking and then trusting that things will work out for you is what opens a pathway for your good to come to you. This is a time when financial issues are at a head in your life. There are opportunities opening up for you. Keep your eyes open and be willing to check out any offers that come your way. The universe knows what you need and will provide if you stay grounded in faith. Look carefully at how you use the money that is given to you. Do you use it wisely? Are you saving some each month? Paying bills on time? If you find yourself resenting bill paying, then change your attitude and face it with joy. Thanks, spirit that you are able to pay your bills. Send each bill out with a blessing attached, that every person who comes in contact with this bill be blessed. Finances will surely take a turn for the better. Have trust and believe. Find a penny today. All right, so some stuff is coming up that is half formed. Um, it's telling me to look a little deeper into the, um, into the acceptance card. Innocence and an inability to see one's gifts are indicated, as well as the protection of spirit guides, good luck, and an increase in self-esteem and confidence. So this is great. Um, I would say, you know, in February, if you're getting some extra money coming in, you want to you wanna think about what you're doing about it, doing with it, and kind of allocate it responsibly and intelligently. So you want to save some um, for the future, you know, if you have bills and things you need to pay, you want to pay them, 
but also, you know, you might want to do something to make yourself feel abundant. So you might want to set a little bit aside to buy your partner a gift for Valentine's Day or to, you know, go on a date together, something like that. Um, that was really interesting. Self-esteem and confidence. Good luck. Protection of spirit guides. Gifts. Right. We have a magical box of self acceptance appears before you. Your unique qualities reside within. Open it. Are things simple now? Uh, you are invited to see yourself as complete, just as you are. <clears throat> New ways of seeing yourself, embracing imperfection, feeling incomplete, selling yourself short are some of the key ideas with this card. Manifesting knowledge and love. Um, questions to ask yourself. Am I assessing myself accurately? Or am I distorting my reality in a self-defeating way? Can I simply accept myself? So it looks like there's, you know, a need for some acceptance. Acceptance of self and acceptance of your partner. Connecting with the divine. Um... I don't know. There's like um, something I'm not seeing here. Um, I do realize that this is going to play out differently for different people. Um, wow, very interesting, very interesting reading for you on the table. Um, I would love some feedback from this reading, especially. I'm going to draw another card because I want to see how this plays into the relationship. Okay. So, there is a message here to kind of allow things to flow, go with the flow, allow synchronicities and signs into your life, and take note of them. Spirit is trying to guide you um, to receiving what you need, getting and giving and, you know, having what you need. Um... There may be some kind of two-facedness and kind of dishonesty um, from, I think, from another person, probably. For some of you, this could be your partner, or it could be you kind of sneaking around your partner. Um, but I think most of you, it's from another person. It's just, it's, it's not something you can't handle. You can handle it. Um, but it's like, you know, somebody flirting with your your boyfriend, husband, partner, um, that kind of thing, trying to seduce them, that kind of thing, um, but you're not having it, you're powerful, um, yeah, it's a great month for meditation, <laughs> it always is, I'm always saying that, but it's a great month for meditation, it's a great month to work with the energies of the root chakra, and it's a great month, um, to work with self-acceptance and accepting yourself as you are. Perhaps some of you are in somewhat abusive relationships where your partner doesn't, you know, calls you bad or something like that. It's not okay. Um, so it, it's also a great month to strengthen your vision and your visualization, find out what you really want out of love and relationship. Um, and it looks like, you know, there's a potential for an increase in uh, money and wealth and abundance, so you want to do good things with that. Alright, so I hope this was beneficial and helpful for you. Again, I would especially appreciate feedback on this reading if you want to let me know how, what I'm talking about, <laughs> how this is playing out in your life. I would be very interested. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful February, a wonderful Valentine's Day. I hope you um, come back and see me soon and until next time Mary Park and Mary meet again. Bye.